Shalom and first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakal Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who definitely rule well and who have taught us this truth, and honors and citations to the elect. <clears throat> so just a quick um uh, exhorting lesson you start with myself first and foremost you know since I'm the one speaking it you know I gotta be it goes for myself I gotta take you know my own advice but really how about my shy's advice first first hand you know or uh risk being that uh unprofitable servant we, which you know this goes for all of ourselves this goes for all of us <coughs> you know you risk being the uh there's one that is wise so like it there's one that is wise but teaches many and yet is unprofitable to himself you know so that's why we always say it starts with ourself first and foremost right so anyway getting into it this is proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right. So sometimes, man, you know, also. You could try and be uh, uh, too deep because it's it, this truth is scary, man, you know, and it's vast. And you got a lot of different. Uh personalities a lot of different you got you got spies you got agents you know and but then you got the true men of the lord as well you know who, who are truly sincere and you really got to tap into like that other wicked wicked mindset because the scriptures say um Thou camest not into the truth. I just want to quote it because I, I really want to stay on track. The scriptures say uh, in the book of Ecclesiasticus, Thou camest not into the truth to fear the Lord, but thy heart is full of deceit. So you're going to have, have people like that, man. The scriptures speak upon wolves and sheep's clothing. You're going to have people like that. So not everybody's going to have the same, <coughs> you know, sincere, humble, trying to really get out of here mindset. So therefore, we got to stay aware, aware to, you know, how the scriptures speak upon how, you know, there'll be wolves and sheep's clothing and so forth, man. But, um, lost, lost my train of thought. We're willing to come back, but back to Proverbs chapter one, verse seven it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, man. So, when we fear Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, that's when we truly begin to get a great, uh, uh, vast amount of knowledge, man. And we know that knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our times, of the times. And with more knowledge, <laughs> it comes like more responsibility. Because now you're being, uh, you're taking on a larger role, so to speak, and with and with more knowledge becomes even more faith. You know, see, we're in a uh, we're in a, a predicament, and you know, one brother may know 20, 20 stories, okay, of our forefathers to boost his faith, and he may know like ten scriptures. You know, uh, uh, that could be more, that can be uh, accumulate even more faith than a, than a guy that may just know uh, one story. You know, so I still have to say that once you get that beginning of knowledge, you can become more valuable. 
You know, let's another example. Let's say uh, uh, this brother knows, like he got like t uh, like twenty topics locked in, but another brother may only have like one one uh, uh, topic locked in. So if a scoffer comes up, he can't cover too many topics as much as the other another brother. So that ultimately makes makes him more valuable, man, because he has more knowledge. So, you know, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. So I say all I have to say just to show how important that is. The beginning of knowledge. And it starts off with the fear of the Lord. Right, but ultimately it goes on to say, but fools despise wisdom and instruction because that's like really the uh, the proving grounds, man. Because we can all say, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I fear the Lord. Oh yeah, I definitely fear the Lord. Oh yeah, I love the Lord. But the Lord ain't caring about what's coming out of your mouth. He's looking at your actions to see if you really do or not. You ain't gotta say, you ain't gotta say you 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 know you fear the Lord. People even say that that in the world. You know, see my uh, 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 peoples was like that. Like, you don't gotta say uh, uh, oh oh I love you all the time. Oh I love you I love you. You know. A matter of fact, matter of fact, they had that in everybody eats Chris. <laughs> They actually had that in the episode. Of Everybody is Chris of uh, Chris Pops Julius. He said, "My dad, man, he was never the type to say I love you. <laughs> he was never the type to say I love you. But the fact that he came home every night, you know, was enough was enough to 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 know that that's what he was saying. You know, you don't gotta say that that shit all the time, man. You don't gotta say it one time." Your actions is going to show forth if it is or not. So how it says, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's the, uh, 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 the really the proving grounds. If you're going to follow the Lord's instructions or not. You don't got to say, I fear the Lord one time out your mouth. If you follow the Lord's instructions. That will show forth that you do fear the Lord. Okay. So. Once we follow instruction. All right. Which goes hand in hand with wisdom. Because the scriptures say. Now <laughs> the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And then the scriptures say. The beginning of wisdom is discipline. Discipline is nothing more than following through with instructions. Right? So now, when you follow through with instruction, you begin to gain wisdom. And that also shows forth that you fear the Lord. So now the Lord, now you are truly in the beginning of knowledge, man. All right, so I can have to pause it for a minute, but um, yeah, man. So we follow the instructions of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is the law, statute, and commandments. We follow the instructions of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, follow the instructions of 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 your, of your camp, and then you know we're supposed to make instructions for our own personal lives as well. And guess what? <laughs> Instruction is important, man. Because as it says, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. When you go into the word despise, from Hebrew it looks like uh, Boaz. It says to despise, hold in contempt, hold as insignificant. So they're saying, ooh, disrespect, to disrespect. So they're saying wisdom and instruction is insignificant, right? Meaning it doesn't it doesn't really matter. 
But that's the mind of a fool. Okay? So, if a fool thinks that instructions doesn't really matter, and the opposite of a fool is somebody that's wise, then that means a wise person is going to say that instruction is important. You know? And I got um the definition of significance. Because if a fool thinks instruction is insignificant, then that means that a wise person will think it is significant. Right? And the word, so the word significance from the 1400s, meaning from old French significance or directly from Latin, significantia, it says meaning, force, or energy. All right? So, a person that's wise is going to give a lot of energy or a lot of significance to instructions. He's going to give a lot of energy over into it. You know, keeping it in mind, practicing it, practicing it, you know, over and over. Keeping it in mind, respecting it. You know, as far as your how about Shemel Shai's instructions, all the way on down until our own and our personal lives, man. Like, for an example, I'll, I'll try and eat meat. I give myself instructions to try and eat meat just, you know, two or three times out the week, man. Because I know the scriptures say, uh, be not too greedy upon meats. In our, and, 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 and. In our ancient culture, you know, we was eating meat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. You know, so I try and give my my energy over onto that onto that instruction. It says energy, force, or meaning. Yeah, because another thing is that instructions have meat a meaning to it. It means something. If you say like like a when, oh, when uh, Red got his chain stolen, <laughs> it had extra meaning to him. So he was extra hurt when he got his chain stolen. And he ran away crying crying in a car because he said his grandmama gave him that chain. So it had a meaning, meaning to him. Meaning what? He held it in the utmost importance. Like, yo, this was my grandmother, you know? <laughs> So that's how the wise is going to uphold instruction. They're not just going to be living their life, you know, uh, on some do as thou wilt shit. They're going to their life is going to have structure to it. Right? Like, like the key word within instruction structure. So there's going to be uh, days when they eat meat, days when they don't days when they fast, you know. And so forth and so on, man. And that's going to, you know, make us become wise. But at the end of the day, it all falls back on the fear of the Lord. Because we do these things to please Yahweh Bashim al Shai and to stay in the good graces and not to go off towards Yahweh Bashim al Shai. That's why it all goes back to the fear of the Lord, man. So again, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, meaning they don't think it's important. All right. But the wise, the wise is going to hold it in the utmost importance and believe that wisdom and instruction. All right. And knowledge and the fear of the Lord can deliver us in these times, man. So, yeah, man, you uh, know, let me get one more scripture. And that's also how that's the difference, you know, between like uh, riding on, like Apostle Recall said, riding on hot air and being rooted, man. You know, if I, if I may say, because when we really follow through, you know, with having structure, 
That's roots. But if you if we just really just bullshitting behind closed doors and then just you know show up to camp, you know get the three lessons done, but don't really have no true structure. You know, toward your how about my shot as far as study, you know, studying, fasting, praying, all these these spiritual things. Then that's that's the difference between riding hot air and really getting rooted, man. So, you know, we got to constantly pray for for structure and discipline, starting with myself first and foremost, man. Right, so this is uh, 1 Timothy 3 and, 5, 3 and 5. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of the Most High? See, so this thing is serious, man. We really got to be uh, uh, practicing and fighting to have structure. And then if you know we can't even follow through, that means you we can't rule our own house, our own temple. Our own bodies first and foremost, man. So then it says, how how shall he take care of the church of the most high? You know? So, hey, <clears throat> we have a little uh, discipline. We got to fast. The Lord said, you know, whatever you lack, pray for it, believing and you shall receive. So low levels of edifying, and with that, I'm going to say shalom.